The evolution of Pakistani fashion, I am the evolution. Mr. Mr. He is one of the pioneers that has brought fashion to where it is today. Deepak has definitely added a sense of fun to a very serious business. Deepak had a vision. And he, I think along the way, he's excited a lot of people in the industry. His brand has been shown pretty much all over the world. More than anything, his self-confidence is what has brought him here. Deepak really believes in Deepak. And of course, when you wear Deepak Parwani the brand, you're also wearing a bit of Deepak Parwani the personality. Deepak's clothes are eccentric. His, his clothes have a lot of life. His clothes have a lot of color. You know, once he sets his mind to something, he does do it. You know, like he made the small dress, he made the big shalwar, he made the big shalwar, he made the big shalwar. You know, Guinness World Book has a record in the Guinness World Book. He's got an instant rapport with people. He's a Pakistani and a very awami person at heart. It's better to be interesting than boring. He's not boring. He's very interesting. Mr. Mr. I mean, everybody knows who Deepak Parwani is. No, beta, I haven't heard of all around and I'm actually busy, very busy today. You have to call me the after tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to sort my life out today. Everything in fashion has been done. And if you want to be original, if you want to do something, then it must come from the region that you live in or something. And, and it doesn't mean that you do ethnic fashion, it means how you take your ethnicity and how you take it to a global level. We are working on our new collection. His name is Frida Ghosh Tukharad. It's going to show up in Pakistan Week and in my opinion, it's going to be 13 days. Yes, it's not coming to fall, it's going to come to the tassel. Give me a look. I want to do a summer collection based on crushed fabric. So I started looking at a lot of Mexican inspiration for that. My collection is based on Frida Kahlo, a Mexican painter who is a very big fashion icon in the world. She's sexy, she's stylish, she's outspoken, she's obnoxious just like me. Well, the whole idea started with that she comes to Pakistan but she actually goes to Kharada. Okay, um, if you look at the, the patterns and designs of how Mexican clothing and burgees are done, very, very close to what uh, our clothing looks like. You know, the skirt, the pada, the, the blousing, the, the rouging, the, and the crochet, the lace. Uh, fashion inspired by communities that live in Kharada. You know, I'm a fashion forward designer and it's a very, very edgy collection. Relax. It's got a lot of style, it's got a lot of mood. Just walk for me for a minute. Just want to see the head shape. Does it work? It's okay. I mean, I'm not feeling it yet. Mary, Malaka Deepak se takriban, I think, early '90s mein hui thi. He clearly had a spark, and he was somebody who was fearless. I mean, he really wanted to get around, get to know people. आपके जो उस टाइम पे जितने भी डिजाइनर थे, कोई कन्वेंशनल थे सारे, कोई रेवोल्यूशनल भी नहीं था. Deepak was a little bit different that he was doing edgy work. He was a little young girl, he was hip, so he decided that I would make the clothes like this. Why did you want to break out the Pakistani man and the Pakistani man to be actually fashionable? He didn't wear a black shirt, he didn't wear a pink shirt. People were laughing if someone wore a black shirt. Because they were so scared of forward fashion. They were so scared of somebody breaking the boundary. They were so scared of tight clothes. They were so scared of fitting. I mean, we used to do leather on kurtas in those days. Leather and pleather and PVC and skin and 
jali wali kameez hai and lot of stuff deepak bought in color deepak bought in madness and deepak bought in sex appeal um extra magazine which was taken out by uh, you know our, our friend fifi aron was a phenomena because it was the first of the glossies mashallah abhi khatam hua tha aur jaise khatam hua tha wo jo boom aaya tha na fashion ka aur aur lifestyle aur logon ko freedom us pe ye magazine jo na wo bilkul riding the crest ho rahi thi usme kaam bahut cutting edge tha you had deepak making outrageous outfits you know like atika odo in a red gown which was so huge main us zamane mein kaha jata tha ki agar is pure pakistan mein koi cheez koi nahi bana sakta na to wo deepak ke paas chale jaye wo bana dega it was always selling a dream and and deepak was one of the people who was actually crafting that i think the extra days were amazing you know there the, that was you know the the birth the birth of deepak parvani After the extra then the boom of magazines which came beyond it which is you know you had fashion collection you had uh, diva you had extra you had uh, um she magazine being revamped you had mag being woken up by andalib so if you were already a designer you had a bunch of things which were just pushing you along and taking you to you know you were you were a part of the history of fashion and if you weren't then you were struggling because that click once the doors closed to that click it was a totally different story uh fashion parks mein agle hafte lekin jo shoot mujhe zarur karni thi because uh, bridal campaign bhi hamare उसी टाइम पे आ रही है और बिफोर द सीजन गेट्स लेट एंड मैगजीन्स गेट प्रिंटेड इट हैड टू बी डन इन द मिडल ऑफ शूट नो नो आई कैन टेक अ ब्रेक आई एम सॉरी बोलो 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 कैसा लग रहा है दीपक हां called fashion wo apni taraf logon ko attract karta hai you know people want to be like him as well and uh, you know they they feel ke ji hum bhi kisi din deepak parwani ban sakte hain along with his talent uh, he had this very keen sense of business and i think that is what took him to a space where none of us actually arrived because he had this vision and deepak was the first designer in pakistan to have a vision of of selling affordable fashion through his stores i mean i i would say that deepak is a visionary i use my mouth and air to blow balloon up It was a fantastic show. We did it in the FTC. It was an all cast mad sort of, you know, everybody got dressed up and it was just a big celebration. It was a lot of fun. At that time nobody did stuff like that, you know. Chalak ki aankh mein ek nasha hai. दीपक परवानी जो आज एक फिनमिना है और एक स्टाइल आइकॉन है एक सेलिब्रिटी है यहाँ पहुँचते पहुँचते दो चीज़ें एक तो दीपक की अपनी पर्सनल जर्नी है एक आप उसको एक लार्जर कॉन्टेक्स में देख सकते हैं कि जो पाकिस्तान में पिछले 20 साल में मीडिया रेवोल्यूशन हुई है और जो फैशन को एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिला है उस नज़रिए से देख सकते हैं पर्सनल जर्नी अगर आप दीपक की देखें तो दीपक का सबसे ये है कि उसने अपने आप को हर दौर में इम्प्रूव किया है हर दौर में उसने लर्न किया है ही इज़ वर्क विद द बेस्ट पीपल और जब आप अपने आप को अच्छे लोगों के साथ सराउंड करते हैं तो ज़ाहिर है आप लर्न करते हैं तो दीपक इज़ अ ग्रेट लर्नर फ्रॉम डे वन अगर लार्जर कॉन्टेक्स में आप देखें तो पिछले 20 सालों में जिस तरह मीडिया रेवोल्यूशन हुई है जिस तरह फैशन को एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिला है 
Deepak is one of the pioneers in bringing that forward. Fashion is huge in Pakistan. You would think that yar, a poor country is making so much money. Fashion is what is it? But in Pakistan, fashion is huge partly because uh, we haven't really had a, a movie industry. The TV industry has only picked up recently. So fashion really became, uh, you know, a kind of a, a, a cultural highlight for Pakistan. In the world, there was no activity. कोई भी चीज होती थी तो फैशन वुड रिप्रेजेंट पाकिस्तान मिलान फैशन इज द टॉप इवेंट इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इटली इज नंबर वन इन द फैशन वर्ल्ड एज फॉर एज वी आर कंसर्न एंड पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस फैशन वीक फॉर पाकिस्तानी डिजाइनर्स वुड बी अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस I was most proud of Deepak when I sat in Milan and watched that show because for me that was the pinnacle of Deepak. Sakib and I were in um, in New York taking a holiday and uh, my auntie called up and said the ambassador from Milan is called and you you have to do this show. And I flew to Karachi and I didn't have an idea and I was stuck in traffic. At the back of one of the trucks was the burak. Okay like a flying burak with the, in its in all its glory and the truck was just beautiful. And I said oh my god this is it. You know, I flew in to do a collection, and I'm going to fly out to do a collection. Flights are fancy. Because it was a collection which was really close to his heart. It was a collection which was original. It was something which was quintessentially Pakistani and clever. I think that was the most. Amazingly out of the box, kick-ass collection that Deepak has ever done in his career. It was truly, you know, just Deepak. I thought it was fresh. It was new. It was current. When Deepak did that Milan collection, he all of a sudden had done all that stuff for menswear, and he put it into women's wear, and that's where you know he sort of innovated. Um, the silhouettes are very easy. The colors are very young and fluid. Um, I wanted to give a little bit of happiness. Um, I think color brings happiness. You get excited with color, and uh, people loved it. So um, great response. So Deepak does what, he, how, and whatever he does, he's. educates himself about it he'll never do something which he has no knowledge about when i did her collection i was i actually felt sad i felt um, remorse i felt um, betrayed i felt cheated i felt that there was a woman who lived in pakistan who died in the 1940s aur koi pakistan se janta nahi tha the nucleus of the museum of modern art in delhi the entire collection in the middle is is amrita shergill and The woman dies at the age of 27. She paints a hundred canvas, so Rabbi's in the game. Only one canvas ni becha. Kisi ne khareeda hi nahi. I think the whole uh, Amrita Sher Gill collection, it's edgy. मुझे नहीं पता था कि Amrita Gill कौन है, but uh, Deepak knew. And uh, and I think it's not just कि आपने एक artist से inspiration ली और कपड़ों पे डाल दी. It's how you put it there. He's definitely got the edge. You know, इतने मैंने इस इस बार ये दोनों fashion weeks में कपड़े देखे हैं. और जो जो डिजिटल प्रिंट्स पे बन रहे हैं इंस्पायर्ड बाय समथिंग और द अदर बट आई थिंक नॉट एनी एनी वे क्लोज टू व्हाट दीपक वाज एबल टू अचीव इस कलेक्शन को बनाने में साढ़े चार महीने लगे फ्रॉम द आइडिया टू द कॉन्सेप्ट टू द प्रिंट्स to digital printing to actually standing there and standing here to be subah ke every collection that you come out with you know you're always just wanting it to finish and end and people will like it i mean that's all it's all about I don't care ki press kya kehti hai and i don't care ki log kya kehte hain all i know is ke maine ek achhi collection ki hai i'm confident about it i think it's quite amazing find out 24 hours to go
Everybody's phones are shut. What are the people on holidays? Stress is increasing. That's all I can say right now. <laughs> Deepak is a very restless person. And I don't think there's the person born who knows what's going on in Deepak's mind because he's just creating something new and going into this flurry of enthusiasm and so he springs up with surprises every so often. I told him that I wanted a shot about these cars going that way, okay, like two old buildings of Kharada, like this entire street with the Doodwala and the Paniwala and the, all of that and the models walking out in colour. And we keep the whole shot, the back screen in black and white to CPR. Okay, so I need to shoot that 10 minutes. But you're, this is like the day of your show, man. So, anything is possible. The show is still five hours away. When the work comes, it's a lot of date. It's a lot of adventure. It's a lot of adventure. It's a lot of inspiration. It's a lot of inspiration. And it's a lot of inspiration. And it's a lot of inspiration. You know, live for today, have fun, um, you know, just be yourself. But at the same time, Deepak is also a person who's intelligent, who's got a lot of depth, um, who really feels uh, for his country, who really feels for people. I think it's great. Yeah. And I think we should just keep it on okay. for 10 minutes. What's the big deal? It's not boring. And the front is an insane color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Sit it up. And this one is So we're done? I mean Bosnia is from Bosnia. You know what I mean? Look at her. Okay, we're set. Set. We're set. We're set. Then even when we fix it, it's going to look good. Mazai. Mazai, I Okay, we're set. Set. Is it going to be good? It's going to be amazing. <laughs> yes. That's all a designer wants, a little bit of appreciation and you're set. What happened? What? Side card, we call side slick. Wo sirf ek Pakistani label nahi pehne, but wo ek international Pakistani made in Pakistan label pehne. So that's the feeling I have for my name and for my label. Please welcome the creative force of Deepak Parvani.
A fashion designer is half a showman and half a designer, and the show must go on. Deepak show was kick ass. I mean, I like the juxtaposition of showing Frida Kahlo with the local, you know, our culture, truck art, all of that stuff. I think it was, you know, a good mix, a winning mix. Frida goes to Kharada just. Flawed me. Flawed me. I wasn't expecting it. Because I thought it was it was edgy, it was fun, it was for everybody, it was great prints, great concept. Uh, it was fantastic. And that was Deepak at his best. I don't think Deepak is the kind of person who's just going to rest on his laurels. I think Deepak will keep reinventing himself and he's going to be as relevant. 20 years from now as he is today because Deepak Parwani is always on the learning curve. This is just the beginning. What is 20 years? I haven't even turned 40 yet. <laughs> no? And I'm not turning 40 another 5 years. <laughs>